Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an April favourites video, so I'm going to just get started. First thing I want to talk about is this lip balm by Nivea. It's actually the Soft Rose Lip Balm. It looks like that, and I dropped it. This is how much product there is, and it's a light pink colour. It actually transfers onto your lips because it's a tinted lip balm. So if you're dark skin like me, this may look a little pale on you. So um, I only use this for its moisturizing properties. Um, I have tried wearing it out once in a while, but it, it does look a little pale, makes you look sick. But I find that this is really moisturizing compared to many other Nivea lip balms I've tried. Next are two more lip products. Um, so these are both from the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream um, line. And I've got this one, Antwerp, which is a light, flirty, um, you know, youthful pink colour which I really like on my lips. And the other one is a another muted pink. It is uh, San Paolo which is just very, um, just very, what do I say, very rosy and feminine and beautiful. Um, I want to apologise again for any noise you may hear from the road. It's because I live at the main road. Next thing I want to talk about is also pink. Um, it's my blush palette from Sleek. It's the Sleek Candy Collection Sweet Cheeks uh, palette. This is the blush by 3 palette which means there are 3 blushes in one palette. And this is what happened. I actually dropped it and I've got the mirror part here and I've got the blush part here. So I think that's the reason why I've been reaching for it more in April because I actually dropped it. So it's more obvious to me now. Okay, these are the 3 colours. Candy Floss, Dolly Mix and Cupcake. Uh, let me just swatch them for you. First one, this one is Candy Floss. Next one, Dolly Mix. Last one, last one is Cupcake. Um, so, this one I use whenever I want a rosy cheek. This one I use for a natural look and this one I use well, it's pretty long-lasting because it's a cream consistency. Maybe I should show you more of that. Okay, so this is a cream consistency. I actually love all these colours. I use every single one of them. Um, a lot of people say to dark-skinned girls, don't use any light-coloured blushes because they're not going to show up on you. I totally agree you shouldn't use colours that don't show up on you. You have to swatch your blushes before you buy them. But I can tell you that NYX, Milani and Sleek have pretty pigmented colours even if they are light. So um, even if I blend this in, you have to blend in all these colours, okay? It's not going to look good if you don't blend them in. If you blend it in, it looks like that, which is a very natural colour. Um, and uh, it looks as if you just have a flush. Uh, same for everything else. This one is for when it's more, when I want it to be more rosy and more obvious that I've got blush on my uh, face and then uh, this one I use whenever I'm late because it lasts long number one and the other thing is I can just take a bit of it and I can do that and I can put it on my cheek like that like so and uh, by the time I'm down the lift I've already got my cheeks on <laughs> so it's for my um, late days it's so warm in here. Next thing I want to talk about is my fragrance. <sighs> so warm. So this is the Black Excess Lexus. Um, it's from Paco Rabone and I dropped this on the floor. Just like all my other perfume bottles, I've always dropped them. It's just a left-handed disease. I'm really, really um, clumsy. So I dropped it and then the glass, which is a hard glass, did not break so it's good quality. Uh, but the part that holds the cap on that one broke. Uh, but I'm still happy, thank god, it's still in one piece. I bought this some time ago. It actually has not been used much. As you can see, there's, it's almost full actually. I only use it when I go out for you know important occasions, important events. I didn't used to love this smell before. It's a fruity, sweet, feminine scent. And now I really like it because my scent, you know, my nose buds, if there's such a word, my idea of scents have changed a lot. Before I only liked floral or 
citrusy scents and now I'm pretty open to different scents and this is one of them. I used to use it before but I felt that it was really sickening but now I actually like the scent a lot. Um, I use it for whenever I need to have it long lasting so I use it usually for night time but I've started using it in the daytime as well because well, it's, I think it's a strong smelling scent and everyone will be able to smell how sweet you are. It's pretty nice. I, I like it now. Um, the next product, also a scent I want to share with you guys is the Persian Lime Home Fragrance Scented Candle and this is from Shira Candles which is in from Scotland. My friend actually bought this for my sister. My sister passed it on to me because she doesn't really like the way it smells. Um, it's actually the kind of scent that you get um, in you know bathrooms, car fresheners, those kinds of smells um, but I really like this because it's useful in my uh, room. I have a very utilitarian way of using candles because my room is a small room you guys would have seen that it's really tiny. I've only got two panel windows and um, so I always close the windows because it's really dusty and that's why it actually turns really stale smelling in my room so this kind of thing really helps to fill the whole room up um, and it smells really good and um, yeah it's subtle if you let it fill up the whole room but if it's too close to you you can get a little overwhelmed by the smell. Now for movies I I love The Fast and the Furious 7 uh, plus you guys do you know Ong Bak, Tony Ja? He was in the movie. I did not expect that. I did not know that actually, so it was quite cool. Um, but the reason why all of us went to watch the movie obviously was because of Paul Walker. We love him and it's kind of sad, very sad in fact, that we won't be able to see him in the following movies. Also this movie is just like, you know, it's from the 90s generation of kids. You know, we used to be kids, then we turned into teenagers and we were just watching these shows all the while. So how can you stop? I love the whole series and I love watching car sequences more than fights. I'm not a fan of fights. But I love I love watching car sequences and especially when people change gear. I freaking love that. So um Another movie I want to talk to you guys about, it's actually um, Tanu Wet's Manu Returns, which is the second movie, it's a sequel to Tanu Wet's Manu. It's a Hindi movie. I don't speak Hindi, I speak Tamil, but Madhavan, who is an actor over there, he, he speaks, he's a Tamil actor, but he speaks Hindi and he acts in um, Hindi movies as well. So I, I got introduced to it through Madhavan. But then there are also other Hindi actors there that I like and Kangana Reno is actually the the female lead. She's really beautiful in that show as well and the fashion she, she wears, really nice Indian ethnic clothes. So uh, it's not even out yet but I'm obsessed. I can't wait to watch um, this sequel. I didn't... the first movie was a half-half for me. Half liked it, half didn't like it but I think this movie is going to be good. I really think so. Uh, so I'm going to mention three favorite songs for April and I'm just gonna play the song for you. I think that makes more sense, right? It's really sad. I mean, it's really sad, but peaceful. without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you again Next song! Uh, this is from Banuet's Manu Returns. It's called Bano. It's a Hindi song. Um, it is in a Punjabi style. The song is in Hindi but the music style, I think it's Punjabi but I could be wrong because I'm not Punjabi. I don't really know. Makes you want to dance, you know. If you like Indian music, Okay, so that was the other song. And the final song I want to tell you guys about, you guys know it's American Oxygen. Everyone knows that song, right? American Oxygen by Rihanna. 
And um, if you guys have not watched the um, video, I suggest you guys go watch the video because you may not like the song if you don't watch the video, but if you watch the video, you freaking love the song. It's really inspiring. It's really touching as well. I, I teared up every time I watch the video. Breathing, American love. American, American oxygen. So with that guys, I'm gonna end this video. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I love you guys. Bye!